The Giddens family were, and still are, important for many reasons. They represented the best of an African-American family in the 20th century, and they were a family of farmers that lived on their property that they owned for generations. Because George was formerly enslaved, he saw the importance of supporting those less fortunate and allowed people such as Viola Johnson and her mother Gloriana Hardy to be buried on his property where they otherwise had no place in the city cemetery. This can also be seen with the number of field stones found at the back of their property. In 1901, George and Addie Giddens purchased 104 and a half acres of land in Opelika. They worked to make something out of the land leading them to start a farm. In total on that farm, they raised five kids, two boys and three girls, who would go on to inherit the land and continue the farm. Overall, they were very successful for landowners and farmers. That land that George and Addie Giddens lived on is currently located on Frederick Road just outside of Tigertown. As the property currently stands, nature has had its way over the years, causing it to look overgrown. If cleared out, this would make for a great memorial and communal space to honor George and Addie Giddens, the many others that are buried there, and the accomplishments of the African American community living in the Auburn Opelika area. For starters, some of the weeds and bush would have to be cleared out to create an entrance into the property. Near that entrance, an outdoor classroom like the ones at the Kruger Preserve and Nature Center would contain plaques of information on the Giddens for people who were curious about their lives. This amphitheater-style classroom would have an awning over the tiered seats to protect against the weather. Further in, the area between the Giddens house and the field stones would be cleaned up to put in a community-run garden. A third party, such as a local church or cemetery organization, would rent out spaces to members in the community for them to grow crops and flowers, using the money to fund the upkeep of the memorial space. A community garden would honor the work they did as farmers. In the center of the garden, reflection benches would be placed around a decorative water fountain with plaques that would describe the people buried on the property, along with more information about the Giddens. At the field stones and depressions at the end of the property, they would be blocked off by birchwood fences to keep people from wandering into the grave sites. Around the property, people could come across a number of plaques. These plaques would tell the reader various facts ranging from the people buried on the property to specific information about George and Addie Giddens. Overall, this memorial serves to commemorate the Giddens family and their accomplishments. Every aspect of the park would be designed to exemplify this. For instance, that Birchwood mentioned earlier in the fences represents the redemption of the Giddens as they worked hard to make something out of their land. This proposed memorial park is important for the Lee County community to keep their stories, as well as the stories of those buried on their property, in memory.